<laughs> we're going to go out on the pitch and we're going to play. So first thing we'll talk about your heart rate, what we've got on. So what we're going to look at, what I'll be able to see is your fatigue. So how quickly you get up, you get to your top of your maximum. Then I want to see how it slows down and goes back to normal because that's your recovery and your fatigue. So how quickly can your heart rate go from top back down to allow you to train again? And we'll do that with some of the drills we're doing. So we'll look at how your heart rate changes depending on what you're doing. We'll look at what your max is and that can be a sign of safety for us. We're going to look, your heart rate will tell us sometimes if you're overtraining. Because if you're overtraining, apart from your muscles being sore, your, your heart will not go back down again to where it should be. Okay? And we'll look at the fitness improvements. So if your heart rate staying around the same and you're getting quicker and you're able to cover more distance, that's a good sign. And then we'll be able to see if there's any stress. Because if you're stressed because of school or your girlfriends fell out with you or whatever it is, <laughs> you can be stressed and your heart rate can be higher. If you've been busy all day and you've just run in after school and you threw your bag and you haven't something to eat, you're straight to training, again your heart rate might not go back to where it should be. And what we look for, we do not compare you to each other. So up here, just because somebody's in 42 and somebody else is in 52, doesn't mean one person's fitter than the other. Because inside, everybody's different. So we compare you to yourself over time. And then at the same time, we look at what happened around the time that you were at 41. What happened when it was like 52? What happened when it was 72? Okay? What happened? Was it a cold night? Was it a warm night? Were we indoors or outdoors? Was it a hard training session or an easy one? That's what we look at. And we'll find out was it at the start. So after tonight, everybody will have some records. And we'll record that again over time. And then I'm going to look for any trends, any differences in one of the situations, and the colour coding. So, everybody's grey, which means you're not working very hard. When we go out there, that'll go up. There, it'll go up to a red, means you're working as hard as you can. And I'll be able to see that because everybody is going to work as hard as they can tonight. Is that okay? That's the sort of readout that I'm going to get out on the field. So, if somebody's up at 99% of their maximum, or else somebody's doing a very easy training session, they're down at 56% of their maximum. We'll do a shooting drill. That means two people are going at once in a shooting drill. You're going to run figures of eight around the 18 yard box, and every time you come around, you'll have a shot. You do that for two minutes, then you'll have a break. At the same time, two other people will be serving balls to you, and two other people will be behind saving the balls. Okay? And then we'll have a, a heading cut game where you're sprinting and heading the ball, and then just a running one. And then we'll have a game. Is that okay? Nothing too complicated. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Have you calculated this at 220 minus their edge? Yes. Okay. So what we did when they come in on the, this side is I have everybody's date of birth entered in. Okay. And then that automatically sets it for it at 220 minus the age, and that's where it's coming up. But thankfully everybody's here at the same year of birth anyway. Yeah. So does anybody know that, how you get to your maximum heart rate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've done that. 220 minus the <coughs> age will get you that, and that computer already does that for us. So on this system, we were able to type, we typed in before we started today, we've got their age, their weight, their height, and then that automatically calculates everything for us as we go. Anybody here, any questions? Is anybody this side? No? Okay. What time do you have the field? Yeah, I have no five minutes or so, yeah, just okay. start. So you want to get yourselves ready? So well done, can we grab a ball? Right, we're going to go and do three things. So over here, there's a shooting drill. I'll show you how this works. So we need five, six players. Who's the goalkeeper? Ryan, you go in the goals. And four other people. One beside the yellow cone, one beside the orange cone, everybody else stay here, one beside that orange cone, can you give the balls to, what is your name, DJ, Connor, give all the balls to DJ, Connor, run on a sprint and drill, but you've got to do it as quickly as you can, to change over as quick as you can, so all you're going to do is feed a ball to someone at an angle, is to run diagonal, so you'll run from here, Right across to this cone, don't get, as you get it, pass it over, I'll have a shot, and leave 
leave it. I've got them going round the cone. And I can round this one. As soon as I get round this one, I'm going to go here. Go ahead. Another jump. One. Two people will go at once. Got that? So you guys, you've got to be quick because people will be coming very quick. need a ball, a ball, watch, because everybody will do this as well. First one is, you're going to jog out at the same time. The first one is on the ball here, pass it, just keep it on the ground, just keep it on the ground to start with, so pass it on the ground. When I get in the cone you pass it, either one touch back or take a touch, then you're going backwards, the angle, and this one is a header, so lift it up for your head, get me up in the air, so I have to jump. I get it back, then I've got to go diagonal. So watch you don't bump into each other. Diagonals are backwards. Then you go forward, so it's a pass. Don't pass it or throw it until they get close to you. Okay? Got that? Everybody ready? Everybody know what they're doing? I'm going to start this. I'm going to look two minutes. Wait until I get all sorted out. Then we'll change over. When I say two minutes, you guys you guys, you'll have a two minute break and then we'll switch places. After your two minute break, you're going to do the same again. Give it three minutes, then the attacker, one of you will go behind the net, one of you will go in goals, two beers, you'll go out and have a shot, and you guys, you'll feed. Go, next one, go. Okay, keep going, keep going, quick, quick, gotta be a sprint, you gotta sprint, you gotta sprint. On the next one, go. Get around that cone, get around that cone, the other one. Keep going. Get around that cone, make sure you get around that cone. Sprint, nice sprint, nice sprint, okay, nice sprint. Get around that cone, last time, get around it. Okay, you get it right here. Well done, that's better. Get it right in the cone. There's no point being there so soon. You're not running. Yet. Not working hard enough, come on. Keep work. Weave in more, weave in more. Good. Pop up. We're lucky. Keep it going, keep it going. Yes, 40 of you are 90, 90 percent. Good. 20 seconds left. Get up, get up. Don't turn your back in the ball, keep. Keep going. Weave in more. More in you. 10 seconds, so we get a break. Turn and go, turn and go. Keep going. Good. And one more, and one more. And stop there, well done. Good work, you guys. Good job. You guys have another minute. You guys have another minute. Get around the corner. Sprint, 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 sprint. Get back, get back. Next one, here. You gotta come this. Get around it, get around it, get around that coat. Now get back. Go get around this one. Get around this one. Come on, you gotta look. Nice, slow, slow. Go on, see me. Where are you going? Keep going, keep going, think of it where you're meant to go. Keep going, 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 keep going,
What I am interested in is how quickly you recover, so how sharp you get back down to the grazing again. So that's good, you recover very quickly. And every time you pick, that's it. But see when you play football, that's exactly what happens. You sprint, and if you can recover quickly, you can go the sprint. So that's what we're interested in. How quickly you can recover, so we lose that one. So now they come, that's good because that shows me you've been really sprinting maximum. These curves mean you've got gradually better. Okay? Curved. Curved. We want to get up to a peak, so there's a good peak, and you come down. There's another one up, around, just stay at that level for a while, and then you come down. So it's a good, there's another one there, up to a peak, then we came down, then we're back. Okay? Well done, guys, good work. What we're going to do now is get you into a game so you can play. So I'm going to set up a few posts, and we'll have a little match. And I'll They're all trying to get the mark on the run then. Go, go, over, guys. Well done. All right, 15 is if they've worked hard. Which bit was harder than sprints? Run sprints? Or the game at the end? Sprints. All right, we'll, we'll see. So, let's see. Sprints at the start, so let's see. How are you fishing? You can update 89% of your max. The training session here is what I'm looking for is how quickly you come back down. You come very well from down quickly. And we'll see what happens next time you do. Spencer, you got 87% of your max. You went up a lot at the start, then you began to have a break in between, and then up. But look, every time you went high, you've come back down again. It's good work, everybody. Anybody, any questions? No? You'll all get a copy of this, and you'll all be able to see it, and you can give it to your parents as well. Heads. Well done, guys. Take your belts off. Just take them down from there. No, no, no. Alex is going to get into a bit of a game just as me and Kyle do a wee debrief. Uh, yeah. yep. What we'll be doing tonight is looking at the heart rates of all the players. So we've been doing that using the Polar Heart Rate Monitor that records with Bluetooth. So I'm able to look during the session at everybody's heart rate and we look at it in zones. So 
50% of the max right through to 100% of the max. So we've done three different drills, a sprinting drill, a shooting drill with the sprints in the middle and then a heading and a passing drill to see how the players react and what their happenings are like, just to try and get a baseline of getting them to their max. Then we'll follow that on just playing a match under no conditions where they play the match themselves and then split that up into a condition game and we'll get to see their heart rates during the whole session just to replicate what a normal session would be like, doing the fitness work and then doing a match. So at the end of it all the players are seeing their heart rates probably for the first time and we'll be able to email that to themselves, to the parents and to the coach and then we'll follow that up over the next few weeks and repeat that. So now we've got a baseline of everyone's heart rate for over an hour of uh, conditioned games and we'll look to see how that works again in a few weeks time and then again towards the end of the year and we'll try to build that up a number of times. So what we're really looking for here is when someone's got up towards their maximum tonight, how quickly they recover and that's a sign of fitness and how quickly they can recover and we want to improve that so when they're playing the games, uh, when they do get into an intense situation they'll be able to recover quickly and then go again. Okay, so we're with David Forsyth from our 2002s. Tell us what you found for tonight. Follow us around here, so learn about uh, your heart rate. Day before again, on after again. And with the smoothies that we made and tasted, how did you think about that? How easy it is to make it? Uh, it's, it's easy, it's easier than you think. And I think it's probably one thing that we forget about because we're always intent on what we eat and drink before, during, but sometimes we forget what we have to put back into our bodies after a game. So is that something you feel you could make at home before oh, training? Yeah. And have that then after training as much as... And the heart monitor, how does that feel to have a heart monitor on? Uh, I felt a bit better, like, it was, it was good, like, 